Hey Valley Middle, this is the fourth and final lesson for 7.1. Today we're going to find uh, percentages that have fractions attached to them. But first let's start off with kind of a fun question. I actually didn't know the answer to this. I thought I did. How much did the first McDonald's hamburger ever made cost? Uh, it's kind of a tricky question. All right, tonight officially our target is 7.1D. I can find the percentage of a number when the percentage has a fraction. All right, Tony needs to find out what 88 and a quarter percent of 90 is. Can you help? All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to find out what 88 and a quarter percent of 90 is. All right, the decimal for 88 is 0.88. We all know that. We also know that the decimal for one quarter is 0.25. So what you do is you just take and put the 88, the 0.88, that decimal down, you take and add the 0.25 right at the back of it, and you do not add a second decimal. And then you have your decimal for 88 and a quarter percent. You multiply that by 90. Let's do that real quick. 0.8825, so there's my 88 and a quarter percent, times 90 is 79.425. So there's the answer to Tony's question. Does the answer make sense? Well, sure. 100% of 90 would be 90, so 88% is going to be close to 90, but smaller or less. All right, let's take a look at, for the last time, our vocabulary word, percentage. Percentage, that rate or amount per 100. We've talked about that for the last four lessons. I, hopefully, hopefully you've got that word down. Um, tonight, we're looking at percentages that have fractions attached. Still, remember, when we are going to turn a percentage into a decimal, we need to divide by 100, and we do that by moving the decimal two places to the left. Let's take a look at these percentages and change them into decimals. We have 10.5%. Well, the decimal is still going to be right there at the end of the 10%, at the end of that whole number, so we move it two places to the left. We have 0.10%. And then we add the half percent. The decimal for that is 0.5, and we just tack that 5 right on. So you have 0.105. And if you look at it, it kind of makes sense. We have 10% here, 0 0.10, and then a half of another percent. It's close to 11%, 0.11, but only halfway there. 33, or, sorry, 35 and a quarter percent. This one's a little easier because there's no zero involved. We move the decimal place, two places to the left, as we divide by 100. And we get 35, or 0.35. A quarter percent, we all know as a common fraction, is 0.25. We just tack that on the end again. So we have 0.3525 is the same as 35 and a quarter percent. I always look at the decimal as I say the uh, original percentage to see if it makes sense. Uh, 103 quarters percent. Well, 100, when we move that decimal two spots to the left, we're going to have 1.00, and then we have to tack on that 75. That's that three quarters. So we have 100 percent and three quarters percent, or 103 quarters percent. Make sure when you move that decimal, you don't drop the zeros when, uh, when we divide by 100, okay? Because those zeros are holding the place. Otherwise, it would say it's 1.75 which is one and three quarters percent, which is very different than one hundred and three quarters percent. Um, and last time, this is an easy one here, sixteen and one fifth percent. We move that two places. We have 0.16 is our decimal for sixteen percent. And then we just tack that 0.2 for this one. We just tack that two on. Again, one decimal, okay? I want to take you through a, a blown up example for those of you who may not have fo followed along there. So we need to write uh, 45 and 5 eighths as a decimal. Well, here's the 45. The first thing we do is we divide by 100, so we move that decimal to the left two places. So we have 0.45. We do the same thing here with 5 eighths. We need to turn that into a decimal. So we just remember that 5 eighths really is 5. The bar, of course, means divided by 8, 
equals point zero, sorry, 0 0.625. So I write that number down, 0 0.625. That's my fraction for five, or my decimal for 5 eighths. Then I put the 45 down, and I just add 625 to the end. Remember, only use one decimal, so the second decimal gets dropped. And then, like I said, I always check it by saying, well, here's my 45, and here's my 5 eighths. Okay? Study that example if you need a little help. All right. Uh, three problems to solve tonight before I turn you loose on your own. We need to work out the answer to this one here. Find 15 and 1 half percent of 140. Okay, first we divide by 100. And we've got 0.15 for 15. Now we've got the half we need to deal with. And we just need to turn that into a decimal. So we know that 1 divided by 2 or 1 half is 0.5. So we just tack that on the end. Again, here's my flashing, flashing message. Don't put in a second decimal. So we have 0.155 times 140. If we pop that into the calculator, we'd have 1.155 times 140 is 21.7%. Now, does that answer make sense? Well, 10% would be 14. Uh, another 5% would be 7. So, you know, when you add 7 and 14, we have 21. So 15.5% uh, is just going to be a little bit more than 21. So yes, our answer does make sense. All right. How about this one? We need to find 42 and 7 eighths percent of 80. All right. Well, we start off just like step number one. We move that decimal point. As we divide by 100, we get to 0.42. Now, we have to deal with the fraction. So let's say I don't know what 7 eighths is. So I put 7 eighths into the calculator. 7 divided by 8, well, that equals 0.875. So we have 42 here, and we have 875. And you notice I just added that on to the end, and I did not put in that second decimal. So my, my new decimal then becomes 0.42875. Now I'm going to multiply that by 80 to get my answer. So I'll just go ahead and put that great big long fraction in, or the big long decimal in. So we have 0.42, that's my 42%, and then the 875, that's my 7 eighths. If we take that times 80 is my original number, we're going to get 34.3. Now does that answer make sense? Well, yes, because 50% of 80 would be 40. So 42% of 80 is going to be a little bit less than 40. So yeah, my answer is in the ballpark there. It makes sense. All right, one final uh, example here. We need to find 25 and a quarter percent of 80. All right, so once again, we start 25. Let's make that into a decimal. So we move that decimal spot two spots to the left as we divide by 100, and we've got 0.25. So now we've got 0.25, and we have to change one quarter also into a decimal. Well, that's a known decimal as uh, it's 0.25 as well. So you notice how I put the 0.25 here, and I added the quarter percent or the other 0.25 right behind it without that extra decimal. So I have 0.2525 is my problem times you know the original 80. And I've got 20.2. So, does that answer make sense? Well, yes, it does, because 25% of 80, or one quarter of 80, would be 20. So, yeah, 25 or 25 and a quarter percent is just going to be a little bit more than 20. All right, here are four problems, oops, five problems for you to try on your own. Um, again, you might need a piece of scratch paper along with your calculator to work these. Go ahead and give it a shot. All right, let's see how you did. 150 and a half percent. Well, you got to move the decimal two spots to the left as you divide by 100. So you got 1.505 times 200 would be 301. Uh, 14 and three quarters percent. Well, if you move that decimal two spots to the left as you divide by 100, you're going to get 0.14, and then here's that three quarters, 75. So 0.1475 times 150 is 22.125 is the answer there. Here's a big one. 
215% and a quarter percent of 155. So we move the decimal two spots to the left as we divide by 100. So we're going to get 2.15, and then we add on that quarter percent, 25 here, uh, giving us a total of 333.6375 as an answer. Uh, 30, 30 and one fifth percent, I'm sorry, of 200. Well, the 30 percent is 0 0.30. Uh, one fifth is 2 for 0.2, so we just tack that right on. So we have 0.302 times 200. That would be 60.4. And finally, 1 and 1 eighth. Well, 1% is 0 0.01, and then we have to add on that 0.125 right here. That's for the 1 eighth, so we have 1, and here's my 1 eighth times 16. So 0 0.01125 times 16 is 0.18. All right, I think you might need to watch that video a second time, especially this original slide here as I changed this percentage with a decimal into a fraction. I think with just a little practice, uh, especially using common fractions like I tried to use throughout the slides, uh, that'll help. Okay, here's your ticket to the show. What is 15 and one half percent of 80 and what is two and three quarter percent of 160? All right, our trivia question. Kind of tricky. How much did the first McDonald's hamburger ever made cost? Well, I thought it was 15, 15 cents. And according to this menu, in 1955, this is what the McDonald's looked like, the original one. Uh, and yeah, it was 15 cents. But what I didn't know is that in 1940, McDonald's had a, a barbecue restaurant open. And this is right from their website. It was in San Bernardino, California. Uh, and it was a little drive-in. And they sold uh, barbecued beef, ham, or pork sandwiches with fries for 35 cents. So a uh, hamburger is a little bit different than a barbecued beef, ham, or pork sandwich. But I didn't realize uh, that uh, there was a McDonald's barbecue open. So that was Dick and Mac McDonald opened that store. All right, I hope you learned a little something interesting about your favorite fast food restaurant, or America's favorite fast, fast food restaurant. And also, how to change percentages with fractions uh, into uh, numbers when you calculate them out. All right, thank you so much. Have a good night.